hello everyone thank you for joining in this video i'm excited to help you understand how exactly you can download a excel file within pega where you have a page list as a source let's see what all are necessary steps which we need to do to perform this download so to understand this we will have few prerequisites to be considered first thing is the excel template file a template which talks about what all properties do you want to extract as part of this excel file download you need to build a template for that the next thing you will need is you will have to upload this particular template as a binary file within pega and we will be using px generate excel file out of the box activity to achieve the extraction and we'll also understand what parameters are needed as part of excel template file there are few things which are very important while we build that excel template file it is very important to understand how you will specify the properties in the excel file which will be in a certain format which we'll be seeing now the 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 format in which the the columns will be specified in a template file will be in this fashion it will be the flower brackets followed by a dot your page list name the curly braces dot and then the property name and then you close the flower bracket this is very important you will have to specify your properties in this fashion all the properties which are there you have to specify in this fashion and you will have to save the xls save this file in xlsx type let us try to see a sample file now for my example i have used this particular template where i am to help you understand this i have built this sample template in this template we are going to capture the car inventory details and once we download this we will be able to share it across with our stakeholders to build this template i have taken three properties which is brand model and make year as we discussed in the presentation the format in which the property names have to be specified they start with your curly braces and then you have to specify a dot your page list and the braces for your page list dot the brand or whatever the property it is and then you have to close the curly braces that's what that's how you have to be specifying your properties all the properties you need you will be specifying here in this format and then you will have to save this file as xlsx type this file i'm calling it as car inventory template let's proceed further into the designer studio to understand the next steps so to understand this i am using one of the existing data type which is a vehicle data type which has brand make year and model these are the three properties i have once we have the template ready we need to upload it into the binary file within pega that can be found under technical category just right click on the technical category in your work class or in your rules explorer click on create click on binary file here this should give you a form where you will be able to provide the details here you can specify any label for your binary file i will say it is car inventory template is what i am going to call it the app name should be a directory let us say it is excel call it as excel the file extension type very important this has to be xlsx like we discussed the template name excel as the directory name and excel sx as the file extension very important and then you click create and open here you will get an option to upload that file just click on upload file pick the template you have built choose the template car inventory template choose it and say upload this should upload your binary file with this we have completed two important steps which were creating a template and uploading it to the system as a binary file now that we have the binary file ready i'll be utilizing one of the out of one of the data types which i have created for vehicle which is the brand maker and model are the attributes or properties which are which i'm capturing as part of this particular data model i'm using this i have created a page list 
for this particular data class in my work class and then I have added it to the section where I am trying to have an inline grid double where the user is will be able to provide the properties here let us provide a button on click of which we will be performing this download now let's try to include a button here on click of which we will be performing the excel file download let me open the configuration let me change this text to download excel and let us move further to the action set and create a action set for downloading this excel what do i want to do i want to download a file on click of this button let me say on click add an action and let us choose open url in window so here this gives me a pop-up where i'll be using a page to perform this activity very important step here is pointing to the activity which we will be using the activity which we will be using is px generate excel file this out of the box activity is something we'll be utilizing to download the file once you choose this out of the box activity the very important step is passing the parameters for this activity these parameters are really important you have to pass this accurately the file name can be anything which you want to name it let us say i want to call this as cars.xlsx this is a user defined name you can give anything the important aspect is the template rfp this this parameter has to be passed accurately this is nothing but the directory where you have saved the template which is excel excel which is what we gave followed by the exclamation mark you see this excel followed by exclamation mark and the name of your template the name which we have given to our template was car inventory template dot xlsx if you see here we are able to see that let us pass that it is called car inventory template and wherever you have dot you have to pass exclamation instead of dot you have to pass exclamation in this particular parameter and the file extension xlsx hope this is understood clearly what do you want to do you want to download the file yes so we have to pass a true attribute here and then once it is downloaded it gets saved in the pegas export directory you don't want to keep it there keep it keep the files there forever we have to, it's best to delete them after it has been downloaded say true the file will be downloaded in a local machine as well as saved in the export directory we don't want to save it in the export directory because it keeps the size keeps increasing when every file is downloaded there so we are deleting it here this parameterization is very important especially the template rfp excel because the directory under which we have saved is excel and then the template name excel followed by exclamation mark template name and then again before that instead of dot you will be using the exclamation mark and then xls this is how you will be specifying it let me submit this let me save this perfect let's try to run our flow and see how exactly does our download look like let us run this perfect let me add me hide this perfect let me add an item let us say brand let us say it is again tesla model y and 2022 i also have a uh, hyundai i do have a hyundai santa fe and the model year is 2021 and i do have a toyota camry which is 2019 so these three cars i have included here let me save this and then let me click on download excel this should help me 
get my cars.xlsx if you see this is the name we gave let us click on that and see if the format is the same which we gave wow that's really beautiful the format in which we uploaded the template the same format is returned to you rich with all the background colors the way we had specified the properties the same properties have been popped up here the model and the year this is a very simple way in which you can use the out of the box activity to download list of records from the pega user interface and this file can be shared with your stakeholders whenever you want very simple way to understand this particular concept hope you have understood how you will be able to utilize the px generate excel file out of the box activity to download records in excel format if this helped you please like share and subscribe and also drop me comments about what sort of videos do you want to you want me to make so that uh, it becomes easy for you to develop in pega have fun and keep enjoying working on pega thank you